Welcome back, everybody, to the Detroit Lions franchise as we go into week number three and we get our first division game of the year here in Minnesota, a place last year where we didn't have any success. But speaking of success, that's what we were having the beginning of this year. This offense, this team has been absolutely dominating here through the first two games, and we'll see if it can continue that set success here in Minnesota in week number three and start the season 3-0 and oh, as the kick is underway. We'll get week number three underway as Minnesota will receive the ball first. Kneel down in the end zone, and their offense will come out of the field here with Jameis Winston and company starting at the 25-yard line. Here comes Jameis now, second year with Minnesota after coming over from Tampa Bay. Four touchdowns, three interceptions here through the first two weeks. So this offense starts out second and eight. They're going to run the ball here to Taylor, but he's going to be taken down. Nice job by Blake Cashman getting in there. Slowing them down, and then Winston is going to clean that one up. So third and 11, quick third down here. Winston going underneath the digs, and he will be stopped short. So the defense does its job there, gets a quick three and out, and here comes this hot offense, averaging over 50 points in the first two games. It's really been unbelievable, as here comes Zeke Elliott, and Elliott has not yet had the big game so far. In this early season, it's been a lot of the receivers, so maybe he has a chance here in this ball game. Gets a very tough Minnesota defense. So second and seven after the good run. Man, wide open as they brought a full blitz. Really probably should have gone to Jake Butt as nobody covered him down the field, but still gets rid of it in time as Rodgers picks up the first down. Now we go to Justice Hill on the ground. He gets to the outside. He's going to pick up a first down to the 36. So getting chunk plays here like we've been here in the first two games and moving the ball down the field with success pretty easily, actually. First and 10, Rodgers, the outside, that's going to be caught. First down, Jerry Judy, he's down to the 14-yard line, and just like that, we're in striking distance here. So from the 14, first and 10, here they come with another blitz as Rodgers is going to move in the pocket. He's going to find Hawkinson all the way down to the one-yard line, and let's see if he can punch this one in here. First and goal, go to Elliott, not a problem. He's in there for the touchdown, something we had some real problems with last year. But so far this year, not having any of those red zone problems puts it in. We'll take the 7 and nothing lead and let the defense try to go back to work here as that is going to be a loss of three there as Taylor going nowhere. And now a third and six as Winston's going to find his man, Irv Smith Jr., for the first down. Finds the tight end up to the 44-yard line. And Minnesota will not go three and out once again. And they'll uh, pick up the first down and move the chains. Second and 12, back to the air. That's going to be Rudolph there with the catch. Not really a whole lot there, just a gain of one. So brings up a third and 11. So Winston from the gun, looking, finding, and that is going to be caught. We'll see where this spot is. And they give him the first down. So this is a definitely a talented receiving uh, team and with Minnesota. Plenty of receivers, even, even though with Thielen gone now through retirement, they still have some good receivers. As you can see, Winston on third and three. Gets a little too aggressive. Throwing the ball a little too soon there. Intended for Irv Smith's incomplete. Now they're going to bring on the field goal unit here. About a 56-yarder. And it's just going to be wide left. Might have been short as well. But with that, that's going to give our offense some great field position here. First and 10. And Rodgers goes down. Ball is loose. It's going to be picked up by Daniil Hunter. And he's going to go in for six. The question is, will it stand? So Minnesota's defense comes through with a huge play here, and it's going to stand for the touchdown, and we're tied up here at seven. So a quick fumble there, and now back on the offense trying to get that seven back. Rodgers looking in the pocket, but he's going to go down. McFarland is in there for the sack. He dominated us last year. That young defensive end really doing it. And brings up a third and eight as Rodgers stepping up in the pocket, throwing, and it's going to be dropped. DJ Chark cannot come up with the catch. It was tough in coverage, but still got to come down with that one incomplete. And now Minnesota has a chance here, their offense, to possibly take the lead as we head into the second quarter. So third and ten, Winston looking around, throwing down the field. He's got Stephon Diggs open first down up to the 43-yard line as Christian Fulton could not keep him in motion there. And Moody was there, just couldn't keep him in there. Did not work out at all. So first down 
Minnesota as they go from the empty set. That's going to be caught. Irv Smith with the catch up to the 27 and brings up a third and short. So Winston from the gun again, as you can see. They are just deciding to pass all day as that is not going to work out at all as Winston is there to knock that one away. So Minnesota does take the lead 10-7, but you can see they are just relying a lot on the pass game, not even really going to Jonathan Taylor as we're trying to get the run game going here is now that's going to put a uh, first down for Elliott. Five carries, 43 yards, looking pretty good. And speaking of the run game, as this time it's going to be kept by Elliott as uh, Levante Rooks, you can see the end did not crash that time. So they're definitely uh, looking for it now. Seeing him on the field, trying to not hit, let him get loose. But right now, Elliott's the one getting loose as he picks up another first down up to the 35-yard line. So best game of the season so far for Elliott looking pretty good. He's got the hot hand, but we're going to go a play action off that as that's going to be Rodgers forcing it down the field, and that's going to be picked off. Fuller is there. It was intended, I believe, for Chark Jr., but he cannot come down with it. Maybe just a bit of overthrown. Great play by the Minnesota safety. And he picks it off. And a mistake there. As you can see, Chark didn't even really turn around. But the safety made a great break on the ball. Picks this one off. And some mistakes so far in this ball game. So this we haven't looked like this through the first two weeks. But right now, looking a little bit sloppy. And Minnesota taking advantage as they have the lead here 10-7. So six minutes left in this first half is going to dump it off on the third and six. And Jonathan Taylor is going to be there and just have enough for the first down as Winston's been very efficient so far. 13 to 15 for 99 yards, but a big third down here. Third and 13, getting some pressure on Winston. He gets it away. It will be completed, but will be short of the first down and will force a Minnesota punt. So the defense just keeping us around here. Offense trying to get something going here. Rodgers throws it, finds Shark for the catch. Hangs on to that one, and he's got a first down for the 34. As we still got 321 left, all three of our timeouts. Rodgers stepping up, looking, throwing, going up top for Jerry Judy, but he cannot hang on to the ball, and it's going to fall incomplete. And brings up another third down as they only come with a four-man rush. Rodgers looking and somehow finds Chark Jr. there for the catch. Man, that was a... Uh, Dangerous throw, trusting your receiver to get it, and he does. Back to Elliott on the ground, and this time Minnesota is waiting. Gets the stop there and brings up a third and two as Rodgers looking, firing Hawkinson. He will just have enough there for the first down up to the 39-yard line. We can run a little bit of clock off here as we are just about in field goal range. First and ten. Rodgers lucky. Ball is loose again. And we will luckily recover. But another fumble by Rodgers. Not having the greatest with the ball security. And also has the pick. And he's got himself another interception. So could not put enough air onto the ball there. Looking for Jerry Judy. It's going to be undercut. Picked off Minnesota. Another turnover here. Our third turnover of this first half. And now Minnesota has a chance to extend their lead. And that is a great throw there, wide open down the field. And a first down up to the 43-yard line. Minnesota looking to add some points. They got two timeouts left, 55 seconds. Winston from the gun, looking to the outside. Perfect throw. That is going to be completion first down to the 30. So now 45 seconds left as Diggs with the catch as Tracy Walker brings him down. Short of the first down and brings up a third and two. So here's Winston throwing, finding digs, but it's knocked away. Nice job there by Christian Fulton coming up, making the hit, knocking it loose. But Minnesota takes advantage of it again, gets points off a turnover, and puts this lead up to 13 to 7 as we head into halftime break. And we got to make some adjustments. Ball security's got to be the issue. Can't really fumble the ball and got to watch out for those picks. You can see. Green Bay down 14-3 here to Arizona. They're trying to go get their first victory of the season. See Chicago down to Tennessee, a team we took care of last week. And Chicago has yet to lose. Trubisky uh, with the interception. But 16-9 the score. We'll have to keep an eye on that game. And here we go into the second half. See so you can make some adjustments here. Rodgers looking, firing. That's going to be just overthrown and incomplete. As Rodgers having a, a tough go over here in Minnesota. As a firing, man, wide open was DJ Shark over the middle. Third and seven, just nobody there on the coverage. We'll take that one first down, and we're up to the 45-yard line. 
First and ten, Rogers dropping back, looking, firing, throwing across the middle, and that'll be caught. Jerry Judy has got it, gets down instead of taking a big hit. 22 yards there in a first down. But another big third down here is Rogers looking, pressure coming, finds just enough there to find Mikhail Hardman. You can see the blitz coming, and Elliott just gave his quarterback enough time to find the receiver and brings up a second and nine. Rogers outside, finding DJ Shark who just runs out of room, and he's right outside the one-yard line. So first and goal, handoff to Elliott up the middle, just taken down short. Second and goal. This time it's going to be a play action. We'll find Hawkins in for the touchdown. Very good job coming right out of the second half here, going right down the field, showing our strength, getting the lead back here, putting this to a 14-13 ball game. And then Blake Cashman comes through with a great stop there on Jonathan Taylor. He has had a rough game, 11 carries, 6 yards so far. Hasn't really been able to get going. As Winston on third down, going to find Taylor, but his knee was down, touchdown, short of the first down. Minnesota goes three and out. And let's bring back this offense as we'll bring in the youngster, Levante Rooks. And this time he's going to throw, and it's going to find Jerry Judy for the catch. And he's got 12 yards, so we can mix it up there. You know, not just have him run, but throw some passes there. That's really going to fool the defense and have to really watch out no matter what since he can do everything. As Elliott with the carry and first down, just about 90 yards as we're up to the 44. As Rogers now looking in the pocket, looking, dropping back maybe a little too far, and that one's going to be a sack, a big-time sack there for Pickney. Loss of 15 as that's going to knock us back, way back now, second and 25, as Rogers throwing it right over the linebacker's head. Finding Elliott for the catch, picking up 12, and makes it a third and 13. As Rogers down the middle of the field, it's going to be caught by Jerry Judy. Big time catch there in traffic, first down, moved the change to the 15, somehow got out of that second and 25. So first and 10, Rogers once again. Maybe just backing up a little too much. Daniil Hunter there for the sack. Another big loss of 13. And we're back to the 28-yard line. But they leave Hawkinson just wide open. They big bring a full-out blitz on a spread set. Not sure if that's the right call by the defense. Rodgers finds Hawkinson, picks up the first down, down to the 5. As we're down to the 4 now and a second and goal. So Rodgers, man in motion, looking, throwing, Finding Shark Jr. and he's just down at the one yard line. See if we could put this one in here. Third and goal. Going empty set. Rogers looking. Fires it. Throws and that's going to be a touchdown. DJ Shark Jr. for the score. And the offense comes through once again. Great third quarter here. Putting up two touchdowns. Getting this lead up to 21 to 13 and now Minnesota trying to get their run game going as they've been one dimensional so far in this ball game as Taylor with the best run of the game for him up to the 39 and a first down as we now move into the fourth quarter here trying to go 3-0 trying to get a nice division win as Lewis Hardy comes through with the stop on Taylor he's been very good the seventh round pick he's been outstanding this year third and three though and it's going to be a false start so big penalty there on Minnesota. That's going to drop him back five and bring up a third and eight. As Winston looking in the pocket, trying to find somebody down the field. Can't find anybody. Pressure finally gets to him, and he's brought down. Is Marcus Humphrey in there for the sack? The youngster gets him. First sack of the ball game for this defense. Comes up at a big time, and it forces a Minnesota punt. As you can see where their punt landed us just getting out of the end zone was Elliott. So their defense has a chance here to flip some field position. As on a second 11, Elliott just somehow gets out of it. Breaks a tackle and picks up nine big yards there. As it's a big third down for this Minnesota defense. Rodgers looking, throwing to the outside, finds Jake Butt. And he's got it for the first down. That is huge. Moves the chains instead of a punt. And we keep it alive here as Justice Hill with the run and then he jukes out two Minnesota defenders. They just tripped over each other. What a comeback, cutback really for Hill just at the start of the run and then making two defenders look silly there. Wow, take a look at this again. Just falling over each other. 
What a move there by Justice Hill. Picks up a good run. And we're up to the 48-yard line. And on third and three, we'll pick up another first down. Jerry Judy with the catch up to the 42-yard line. That puts him over 100 yards in this ball game. And we're moving it along here. One more score here. We'll put up two scores as Elliott breaking some tackles. And he's up to the 18-yard line. Puts him over 100 yards for the ball game. Now 122 on the ground. And less than seven minutes left in this ball game. First and 10 now from the 18. Back to Elliott on the ground. Getting a good block. Breaks through. And he's going to be in there for six. Touchdown, Ezekiel Elliott. He is having the best game of the season. But this is a great run. Great blocking. Nice job by the tight ends getting out there. Hawkinson and Jake Budd. And then Elliott just fizz, finishes it off there for the score. Puts this lead up here to 28-13. to 13. We got 6.30 left in the ball game. So Minnesota running out of possessions, running out of time. They need something quick here. And that is almost caught incomplete. As now brings up a third and six. Winston across the middle. That's going to be caught. Smith Jr. with the catch first down. He's up to the 38-yard line. Is he? Yeah, Winston's been efficient. Just really hasn't tried a lot down the field. But down two scores here with five minutes left. It's something you're going to really have to do. you got to throw down the field here. As he throws it down, trying to do something, create a play. And Mullen is in there for the interception. Big play by this defense. Might have been the game-sealing interception there. But we'll see after this drive, see if we can put this one away for good. As that's going to keep us at the 50. And so we're going to bring Levante Rooks out. Here he goes. He gets the move. He's off to the races. Trying to get one more block. He slides down instead of taking the hit. And picks up 30 yards there on the run. The explosiveness. If you get a little bit of room to him, he could be gone. And that puts us down now to the 9-yard line in a first and goal situation. We're going to hand it off to Elliott. Up the middle. Room to run. He's in for the touchdown. His third score of the ball game. And with that, I think it's going to put this one away here. And we'll get the victory 35-13 to in this ball game. Excellent job by the offense. Uh, Rodgers really struggled in that first half. Throwing the two scores, having the fumbles, one lost. And, but comes around the second half. And the run game coming through with Ezekiel Elliott with a great game. And that was pretty good. Good, good solid victory after really the, the most... Uh, you know, we've been shut down in that first half, the good Minnesota defense, but coming through, playing well. And give credit to our defense, looking pretty good. Still not getting the pressure I want to get. It's really been coverage sacks. So, still that might be a development as we get here later in the season. Possibly, we'll see how that works out. But right now, we got to get a little bit more pressure on the quarterback because, you know, we're going to face some quarterbacks down the line that, we need to get instant pressure on them and at least put some heat on because if we're going to have to bring blitzes six, seven guys every time just to get some, create some pressure, that's going to put real, uh, you know, strain on our, on our defensive backs. And, you don't, you know, I'm, I, we got some good quarters. There's no doubt about it, but we got some young ones too. So don't want to really put them in a lot of pressure situations more times than not. As we got some skill points here, Lamonte Rooks has one, so we will just continue to work on his passing. Obviously, he's got the run game going, the athleticism, so if we can improve that arm, man, he could be an absolute weapon as uh, just continue to try to work on that short accuracy and maybe throw on the run as he gets the player of the week with the three touchdowns. And now, week number four coming up, we'll take on the Green Bay Packers. You know what it is, Aaron Rodgers, first time facing his former team. It's going to be interesting, obviously, playing with them for so long as K.J. Costello, the quarterback from Stanford, has taken over now for Rodgers. So just that one game with the three interceptions. But right now hasn't played too bad. Green Bay at 2-1. and one. We're at 3-0. Oh, trying to get 4. Go to 4-0 oh in the season. And looking pretty good so far. As it'll be an interesting one with Rodgers against the Packers. But that's going to do it there for week number 3. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I appreciate it. If you could please leave a like. That'd be awesome. And subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.